Hi there. Welcome to another episode of Moose Scrapper. I'm going to be scrapping uh, a hard drive today for uh, gold and aluminum. I'm going to show you the uh, best way to, to make some money off of one of these and uh, where to go to make the most money um, for what you got. So, first of all, uh, these things you're going to re most of them have uh, little screws called Torx bits. So, it's definitely worth buying a set. Well, you want to start off by removing all the screws. There's almost always one under the sticker somewhere. So, I'm just going to dig around and, yep, yeah, there it is. On this side, this side is where most of your money is. Now, I know a lot of people say, well, the platters inside are platinum plated, aren't they? Well, yeah, but the plating is so extremely thin, and of that, there's just a small percentage of that plating that is actually platinum. And the, the process, it's usually platinum plated aluminum, and you'll get more money for the aluminum platters than you will for the platinum. But if you go on eBay, there's going to be all kinds of weird people out there who are going to want to pay tons of money for them, so that's where I recommend selling that. But this board right here is called the logic board, and this is where um, you're going to find a good value for scrapping hard drives. They have, of all the boards in the computer, this has some of the highest gold content, um, and a lot of places uh, there's a great site called boardsort.com um, where they will pay like six bucks a pound for these. The prices change monthly. Um, I recommend checking it out. But so what I do is I just take these all apart and uh, put them aside in a bin. And you know, whenever I have a few pounds, I send a picture of it to uh, Boardsort, and they pay me for them right away, and then I mail it out. And that's it. Easy money. Pry this lid off. All right. Make sure you check that with a magnet. Oh, steel. Sometimes they're aluminum. Sometimes they're steel. All right. Now inside here you have the. Where are you? There you are. All right. So you have. The platter, which you're going to get the most money for this on eBay, most likely. Um, most refiners won't bother paying for it because there's just not enough platinum in there. You also have in here neodymium magnets, which um, will sell on eBay as well. Uh, here in Maine, there's no scrapyard that'll pay me for it. So um, The arms here can contain platinum as well. Uh, as well as other precious metals like gold. Uh, so if you put those aside in a large enough quantity, you can sell those on eBay as well. Um, and there's other bits and pieces in here that have, uh, behind here there's some gold plating. Um, so let's rip it apart. So this aluminum, the platters, very few of these are actually glass plated with platinum. Um, this one I'm pretty comfortable to say it's aluminum. Alright, so nice big piece of cast aluminum there. Make sure you get out any bits of plastic. Aluminum. And this is a motor. Um, this is what spins the platters around. You, you can take these apart if you want. Um, I don't bother. Um, this is, you can get some pieces of aluminum out of it. Not much. Again, no, 
nine ounces of aluminum. You got the two hard drive platters that you can sell on eBay. You get uh, a couple of neodymium magnets, strong as heck. You get the uh, the reader head, which has some precious metals up here. Looks like on this one there's some gold wire. There's not going to be that on every one. Uh, this is made out of aluminum. And the nice part is the logic board, which has all this gold plate up here. There's lots of gold components in there. Um, yeah. So there you have it. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, and see you in the next video.